fun facts about strawberries. Um, before I get into making the salads, I first would like to thank my um, subscribers for joining and watching my Happy Healthy channel. And if there's any new viewers uh, you, and you're interested in my videos, you are welcome to join uh, and by subscribing. What you can expect is uh, more videos related to food and drinks, so tutorial videos in that sense. And um, also the occasional fun facts, either about an ingredient that we'll be using during one of the recipes or a dish, fun fact about a dish. So today, as you can see, I will be using strawberries as my main ingredient, but I will also be using mint. By mint, I mean the component, the condiment of the, mint, the homemade mint sugar I made. You can, uh, read, if you're interested about the mint sugar, you can uh, look at, uh, I will put the link of my uh, mint sugar condiment video in the description box below. And also in the description box below, you'll find the links where I have uh, gotten uh, the fun facts about the uh, strawberries and um, any further information you might be interested in strawberries, plus the link to a uh, museum, which is uh, which I will explain why that is uh, further in the, to the video. So firstly, for the uh, strawberry salad, I will be. Uh, I've already pre-washed my strawberries and um, I have prepared my cutting board, I have the, the dish where I'm going to put the, cut the sliced strawberries and I have this metallic bowl here on the side where I will be mainly putting the um, green leaves of the strawberry which I don't need. So for the strawberry, I will be cutting it in quarters, so first in half and then again in half. So, the, uh, the reason I chose to use mint sugar is because I always put sugar firstly in uh, my strawberry salad, but I also like mint. And the company, the mint sugar gives that nice minty refreshing taste to the salad while still giving the sweetness of the sugar. And with the um, mint sugar, I usually put about a tablespoon, so, or we can, in this case, it will be two teaspoons. And uh, for the fun facts about the strawberries, so firstly, the fun, there's the fun fact related to strawberries and the museum is that in Belgium, there is a museum about strawberries. It's uh, called Musée de la Fraise, uh, Fraise being in, in French being strawberry. And um, there you, that is why you will see the link to the museum, if you're interested to see a bit, learn a bit more about that museum. The, um, in the museum, also on the website, you can see what they sell in their boutique, which is like a souvenir shop. And uh, you can have, as I, from what I saw, is that they have they sell the local produce products, which use uh, strawberry in all of them, practically all of them, as the main ingredient. And um, the other thing that they sell is books, many books related to strawberries, but also many books related to the region. That's the first fun fact. And the second fun fact is that strawberries are. Uh, not classified by botanists as true berries. Uh, the true berries would be like blueberry or cranberry uh, because they have the seeds on the inside. Well, the strawberry has uh, the seeds, the yellow, dry yellow seeds on the outside. Also, what has been found is that each seed that is on the outside of a strawberry is an individual fruit, which is quite interesting. The, also, a strawberry, if you plant strawberries in your garden, the strawberry plant will come every year. It might not give fruit immediately, but as soon as it gives fruits, you have, uh, it will continue giving fruits for at least five years. And yes, this is uh, more or less the fun facts about strawberries. Oops. The, There are 
also the current strawberries I'm using are the ones which are grown in farms. But if you live in certain countries, like back in Switzerland, when I was living in Switzerland, in the garden we had a much smaller type of strawberry. And if I were to compare it to size, it would be probably the size of my pinky nail. Um, at least lengthwise. <laughs> The uh, those strawberries are called in French fraise de bois, which means if I were to translate it literally in English, it's forest strawberry. And um, I find I for me the, I love strawberries, but my favorite strawberry is fraise de bois because they're much smaller, so they have this much stronger taste. Well, the the bigger strawberries um, they were grown specifically. For, for cultivating and uh, they also have a nice taste but many times they have too much of the water content and for example if one time it rains a lot then it has a lot of water content and that content then makes the strawberry not have much taste. Now also strawberries unlike other fruits once you, they are picked they do not continue to ripen. For, but if you take, for example, a mango, a mango still continues to ripen after it's picked. Now, usually strawberries are more like a, a summer dish. And I'm just uh, lucky that at the moment in where I'm staying, they are in season. So I can go for it. It, and I always try to go for fruits that are in season because that means I support also the local market. So. Just by cutting, I can already smell the strawberries. It's so nice. mixing you can do it either with the same spoon that you've got the mint sugar with or you can have for example put some uh, gloves, rubber gloves which you use in the kitchen often to help you mix the salad. Now let's try a piece. Mmm so delicious. So yeah very simple very fast and um, I hope you will enjoy making your strawberry mint salad and the mint sugar you can use for other fruit salads if, you're, if strawberries are not in season in your area that is fine you can use any other fruit most fruits go with mint um, apple though if you do only apple I don't suggest using mint sugar I suggest uh, using honey which is quite nice and with figs also figs also go very well with honey so yes, um, then yeah, have a nice day. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. And if you, as I mentioned earlier in the video, if you would like to subscribe, you are welcome to subscribe and expect more cooking tutorials. And yes, have a nice day and take care. Stay healthy.